the head to North Africa because the impact of COVID-19 pandemic has forced Egypt to suspend new stock offerings until the end of the year. But the government's decision did not go down well with the private sector businesses despite its support to limit the losses in the exchange market. Experts say the move doesn't come as a surprise but hope that the effects of COVID-19 would soon fade away. Here's more details of that. The Egyptian exchange market has been shocked to hear that new public offerings have been scrapped for now. Investment banks have opted to wait to monitor how the COVID-19 pandemic pans out. Only two initial public offerings have been made in 2020. This is seen as a reflection of concerns related to the pandemic. We can say that the losses have been limited. That's because the government gave huge support to the Egyptian stock exchange and central bank pumped 20 billion pounds into the market to make up for the losses and avoid a major shock. The same has happened with the government's privatization plan. The Minister of Public Enterprises announced that he ordered the 20 state-owned companies and banks to postpone the sale of stocks to the private sector till next year. Privatization in the current climate will mean the prices of state-owned companies will be unfairly low, so they will use the time to reorganize their structures so that the next year they could attract better offers. Some experts believe these decisions have not come as a surprise. They just hope the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic would diminish as soon as possible to avoid more losses for the companies and the stock exchange.